Okay guys, I'm back. My morning coffee with my Bass Pro Shop coffee mug, all right? So anyway, uh, like I said in the last video, um, this is my last box uh, from LTV. It's the um, uh, inshore saltwater box for the month of January. Now, as I said in the previous video, uh, maybe I didn't, I don't remember, um, this did not come with any tape. So um, I went ahead and put several, I think I put four um, pieces of tape around it and um, squeezed the firecracker in there just so we can have a show. So um, I'll meet you outside at the patio and we'll blow this thing up and we'll take a look at the inside. I promise, I don't know what's inside. And uh, since it wasn't taped up, who knows, the mailman may have uh, did a little five finger discount. I don't know, we'll find out together. I'll meet you outside. Okay, here we go. Twice in a row, great. All right, um, I'll meet you back inside so we can see what's inside the box. See you inside. Okay, we're back. Uh, again, this is the uh, January uh, edition of the LTB um, inshore or saltwater box. Um, like I said before, um, you know, it didn't come with it, it wasn't taped up. So let's see if the mailman took anything out or not, okay? <laughs> let's open her up and rip open this paper, okay? so. Uh, we have the uh, Fish Hound magazine. Actually, we have two. They gave me two of them. So I think, if I remember, they start talking about the baits on the inside. Well, maybe they don't. Maybe there's a bait card in here. Um, just looking through it, they're not talking about the baits, but uh, they do have some good um, fishing articles in here and um, worth looking into. So I'll just set that aside. Okay. Um, looks like there's some kind of giveaway, but since this is back in January, I'm pretty sure it's over with. But I did find the bait card. So we'll go over that. Oh. Here's a new sticker. I haven't seen this one, Wunker Hunt. I'll just add it to my collection. So let's just go through the bait card one by one. Um, first one is the Greeny, Greeny Shad by Unfair Lures, price at $8.95. Greeny Shad. Let's see if we can find Greeny Shad. Okay, here it is. Let me see if I can read some stats on it before I open it up for you. Slow suspend. So it's a suspending bait. Uh, it says 70 on there, so I'm going to assume it's 70 millimeters in length. Um, the paint job on here is called Live Glow White. And I don't see a weight on here. So let's see if we can open her up and I'll give you a better uh, look at it. So it's supposed to be a slow suspend. Come on, get out of here. Let's 
focusing. Yeah. Doesn't have any glitter to it. It's just uh, looks like some kind of fish scales on the top and just kind of a, a cream belly. It does have some red uh, whiskers here probably to uh, uh, make it look like it's bleeding and also in distress to attract the predator fish. So that is the uh, Greeny Shad for um, $8.95. See if I can stick it back in the box real quick without killing myself. Yeah. All right, what's the next one? Uh, let's see. Flat Minnow by Yahoo, um, priced at $4.99. So let's see if we can find the Flax Minnow by Yahoo. Oh, okay, here it is. Um, they're really just jigs with black heads and eyes. Um, snaggless head design, holographic eyes, three ring shoulder for improved holding, um, premium black nickel needle point, big bin hook, reusable pack. Um, trying to find a weight on here. Okay, it's various weights. Oh no, this is a quarter ounce. Let me pull one out for you. And I'm willing to bet there's probably a soft plastic in here to uh, use this on. So let me just hold it like this. And as you can see, let's see if I can get closer. That little eye is kind of holographic. Well, barely, but it is. So hopefully, you know, a lot of inshore fishing is not very deep water. So let me put this back. Set it aside. Um, let's see, next one is Snapper Croaker Pro Rig by Tackle Crafters for 350. Let me see if I can find that Snapper Croaker Pro Rig. Oh, okay, here it is. So it, it's a rig, basically. Um, let's see. I don't really want to pull it out. It looks like the hooks are two aught. The length is 42 inches. The line being used here is a mono, uh, 30 pound, and um, they're not exactly circle hooks, but um, I'm not quite sure how to describe this. So. If you guys know more about this than I do, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and uh, I'll try to do some research on the internet too. But this is from Tackle Crafters. It's just a rig. Uh, let's see, what's next? Tail Gun R by Baiwa, or Baiwa, um, price $5.99. Let's see if we can find that. Here it is. And we've seen this before. We've seen this in previous uh, inshore boxes and also in um, uh, the, the bass boss boxes too. So I don't know how many, how many of these things I got now, but I'll show it to you real quick. In fact, you could probably, let's take a look. Oh yeah, it has, smells like motor oil or something. It's basically a fluke, you know, um, and who knows, you could made it up with this jig if you want. You could also Texas rig it. Um, 
you can do a variety of things with this. Um, drop shot. Um, oh, what's the, what's the one I like best? The Carolina rig, you know. Um, I'm not sure how much of a floater this is, to be honest, but uh, yeah, you, there, there's a number of ways you can read that out. I mean, it's, it's your basic fluke, and it's purple. And I thought I saw some glitter in it, but no, I, I didn't. So we'll put this away. Um, you probably, I should have probably brought a paper towel because there's no scent, but um, it's kind of oily. Well, it says it's scented. Um, B2A scented phthalates free formula. Um, not quite sure what that means. But anyway, obviously I have several packages of this now. All right, what's next? Must add octopus bait hooks. Wow, didn't we just get some in the December? Um, let's see. Okay, um, again, it's circle hooks. So basically the uh, fish will uh, set itself um, in last month's box in December, that was three off. Um, this is two off, so it's just a basic circle hook. Um, you get six of them in here, and did I tell you the price on that? Uh, four. I'm sorry, three forty nine for the must add circle hooks at two off to six, six pieces. Um, next one, Lunker Hunt Kraken jerk bait. So we're going to be looking for a jerk bait here from Lunker Hunt. Here it is. Let's see if I can find some stats on it for you real quick. Um, 3.75 inches, one half ounce, and it will dive to a depth of zero to six and a half feet. Uh, it says it can float if you don't jerk it. And then um, once you start reeling in and jerking around, it will have a, a erratic behavior. So it will be acting like a, a distressed, um, um, you know, um, fish that will attract the predator fish. Um, this color, they're calling it Night Rider. Let me pull it out and show it to you a little bit closer. So it's black on the top with a few little tiger stripes and then it is silver on the bottom. It has a treble in the middle, or closer up front, and then one on the tail. And um, well, basic jerk bait. Um, I think with the silver action, the way it's shining on the light over there, I think the sun will um, and hit it and attract the um, fish out there. Okay. Um, next one is LTB assorted heart bait, hard bait, priced at $9.99. So let's see what, I guess it's another one of those surprise baits, right? Um, is this it? Well, this is the last bait I see. I've seen these at Walmart an awful lot. Uh, it, to me, it, it reminds me of those old pencil baits and it kind of has a red head, but instead of a white body, it's silver. And that would be good because of, um, you know, the sun hitting it um, and attract the fish. So I don't know, this is becoming a more popular bait that I've been seeing at Walmart and Academy and some of the other places. Uh, so it's, it kind of reminds me, it, it's kind of heavy. Does it have any stats on it? It's a sinking. Um, retrieve it with uh, short ripping jerks. Um, corrosion resistant size, six inch, high strength, black nickel treble hooks, 
in stainless steel 2x strength hardware. And basically it's a sinking one so you probably want to reel it in kind of medium I guess. Um, but it just, it does remind me of the, um, the old pencil baits, but with a clown uh, look to it, but instead of white, it's silver. Okay, is that the end? I think that is the end. Um, there's one other thing, it looks like a little surprise thing they brought in. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. Cleanse oil, protecting since 1948. Um, directions, apply a liberal coating of cleanse oil to the problem area. Most applications will see immediate results. Severely rusted parts may require more time for product to penetrate. Wipe off excess. So I'm thinking, this may be um, handy for any of your metal parts that are rusted on your rod, or maybe on your reel, or maybe on your hooks, and um, just, you know, use this substance on it, and hopefully the rust will disappear. That's my guess. Um, again, I don't know anything about it. It looks like um, we received everything on our bait card, so the mailman didn't rip us off, and um, I think that's it for now. Um, I think my next video is um, going to be some, uh, last year about this time, I did a video on a, um, our birthdays. Um, my, my birthday, my mom's birthday, my sister's birthday, my sister's daughter's birthday. They all kind of, you know, um, uh, were close together. But this time we're gonna concentrate on my mom's birthday and, um, and what we did for her. And, my little project, so you're gonna get two, two stories in one. Mom's birthday and a project that I had to do for her. And it's an interesting story, let me tell you. So guys, until next time, y'all take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.